I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. If there's no additions to our agenda, I would entertain a motion to approve. Mm -hmm. Second. Motion by Weiss, second by Denner, to all in favor of the favor saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. This time we'll open the meeting up for any public comments. Anyone wish to address the commission this morning on any topic that isn't on the agenda? In person, out there online, or on the phones? Seeing none, we will move on. Dirk Rogers, Highway Superintendent. Good morning, Dirk. Good morning. Um, I have two things today. The first one, I'm sorry I didn't get this up to the packet, but this is sort of the equivalent. We passed the right-of-way thing saying that we got the right-of-way for that Sand Lake project. This is the one that pertains to utilities, just saying, yep, we'll, we'll either address them or we will address them. It's just a normal responsibility for the locals on uh, this kind of project. I recommend that we, uh, or whatever it is I'm supposed to say, I recommend that you approve it. Oh, second. Motion by Weiss, second by Dennard. All in favor saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. I was thinking about October 1st or the public meeting unless there's a reason why that won't work. So I got enough time to advertise. We just need one advertisement. Cool. So I would recommend that we have that on October 1st mm -hmm. in the commission chambers here. Motion by Weiss. Second. Second by Denner. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion carries. <coughs> That's all I got unless you guys have questions or concerned uh, citizens calling you. I haven't heard from anybody. Everybody seems to be pretty happy. Wind doesn't blow in the asphalt away. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, all right. All right. Thank Have you, a Dirk. Day. Thanks, Dirk. Boy, that was short and sweet. Yeah, I was going to say, you guys said a little newsprint today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next up, discuss and possibly approve the RFP for the Indigent Council one-year contract. As you all know, a few weeks ago, we um, did not accept the proposal that was submitted as for an ongoing contract for the public, uh, the Indigent Council contract. And our intent at that time was to continue looking into the possibility of creating a public defender office within Brown County. We're still working on that. Um, in order to get it set up, that uh, South Dakota codified law requires an oversight committee made up of two com two commissioners, two attorneys from the area, and then a fifth lay person who can't be an attorney can't be an employee of Brown County. So we visited with a couple people that uh, indicated some interest and at the end of the day neither one of them was able to accept just because of their schedules and situation. Um, I was provided another name this morning of a possibility. Um, Christy Sherbinsky reached out to Lynn um, with the uh, possibility of taking on that responsibility and once we get that committee together we will meet and figure out what the next step is uh, put together put together a proposal to try and see what if any interest there is in the community for uh, for creating that public defender's office and uh, more more to come on that so in the meantime in order to fill the gap we, we anticipate or we're hoping that we can get the Public Defender's Office up and operational by January 1 of 2026. So what we would need is a one-year contract from the Indigent uh, Council uh, attorneys, some of which are probably already on our current contract, but it would be just a one-year kind of a stopgap contract to get us through until the Public Defender's Office is organized. So we have a, a draft in the packet of that uh, of that RFP, and it's we're similar to the previous ones, just for a period of one year. Exactly. So we're hoping that the same group that provided the proposal for the three-year contract will see fit to to submit one for this. 
any questions, comments? Uh, I think we have it on, what's the date? October? October 11th. 11th? Just <coughs> when we would open any proposals. That would give us a little more time to come up with a with what we need to get the word out there on the public defender's office and hopefully get some type of response from area attorneys. The plan at this point is to have one lead public defender attorney and then three additional attorneys to work under that public defender along with two support staff. And so it would be an office of about six people as of right now. Pennington County currently uses the public defender uh, model along with Minnehaha. And so we've, I've reached out to members of both of those commissions just to get a few questions answered as far as how, how it operates and how often the advisory committee has to meet and those kind of things. So it's, there isn't a lot of responsibility for that committee to <coughs> up and running, but we will have to go through the hiring process. Any questions? Not, I guess we're just here today to approve the RFP for the Indigent Council one-year contract with an October 11th opening date. Moved. Motion by Weiss. Second. Second by Tell Time. Is there any further discussion or question? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. And if anyone else has any ideas or anyone out there in the public would be interested in considering sitting on that <coughs> excuse me, advisory council, uh, just let one of the commissioners or myself know and we'd be glad to visit with you and bring you up to speed with, with what's going on and what it would entail. All right. Public hearing for a fiscal year 2025 provisional budget. Um, as we discussed in what was published, but you guys mentioned a few changes that you wanted to make. One of them is adding the public defender, but you're looking now at 26 for that instead of 25. Right, and I think we probably need to keep it in there for 2025 okay. so that if we experience any startup costs, if, if we do get a public defender, the lead attorney hired so that they can kind of hit the ground running and get started in 2025, setting that office up. Okay. Um, I had suggested 650000 and I'm thinking that's more of a total budget, so if we want to cut that back, I, I, it's only a guess what we may or may not need. So. It's kind of a placeholder right now for an amount. So we could probably plug in 250000 and have plenty. Unless anyone has any other thoughts. It's, again, it's just an amount to cover any uh, startup costs to get that office running. Well, we're not going to spend it all, but I'm okay with leaving the 650 that way when it comes to budget time for next year. It's not such a shock as that where we're at with this kind of thing and stuff, and whatever doesn't get used, which is likely to be most of it, then that will go back into the journal for the next go around. Works for me. When Len asked, I just threw out 650 thinking that's a place to start. Less than the contract, hopefully so. Mm -hmm. I don't have any heartburn either way, but just yeah. that's just a thought. No, that's a good point. If we leave it there and the number is about the same for 2026, it won't be sticker shot. When we get it done, then just the indigent legal defense contract will go away and then yep. that will leave itself. Yep. So that was one amount when we adjusted. Um, with increasing the salary for Carly. So that moved that up from 1.4 to 1.466 to 1.489. We had talked about setting the public defender's salary at 140000 and to, I guess to make things equal and fair, we felt the state's attorney should be at that same amount. They have similar responsibilities, so that was the difference in the state's attorney's budget, just helping her from approximately 115 to 140. 
you leave it in the budget and we'll decide when we do that, depending on how the progress goes. Exactly. We'll serve the final budget the 24th of September. Yep. And then we had made the one adjustment um, the court appointed attorneys. We upset 50000 so it came to 955 Yep. So those were the three changes from when we passed our motion to approve. Motion by Weiss to approve the provisional budget. Second. Second by Gage. Is there any further discussion or questions? Hearing none, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Next up, consent calendar. <coughs> Approval of the general meeting minutes of August 27th, 2024. Move. Second. Motion by Feldheim. Second by Weiss. All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Mm. Motion by Gage, second by Weiss. <coughs> All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. HR report. Move. Mm. Motion by Dennert, second by Weiss. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Lease agreement. Move. Mm. Third. Motion by Feldheim, <laughs> second by Weiss. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Travel request. Move. Sorry. Motion by Gage, second by Weiss. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Claim assignment. Move. Sorry. Motion by Dennert, second by Weiss. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Any other business to come before the Brown County Commission this morning? I have had no request to go into executive session, so I don't uh, think there's a need for that. Judy was in earlier today and she's got a Zoom meeting today at 11 o'clock with the company that's going to be do the, doing the, the work uh, up in the Rotunda area and uh, they, they, they'll have a proposal so if one of, one of you are available that's at 11 o'clock we'll have a Zoom meeting here in the chambers to hear what uh, that will consist of so if one of you are available I'll be here. Is that a report or that's the initial that engagement? Update on what they're going to need to finish the project. Okay. I will come for that. I actually had an occasion last Thursday to go up there and have a physical look at things. It's not going to be a simple or easy or cheap process. So. That's kind of what she indicated, but we'll find out more at 11 o'clock on the Zoom meeting. So you'll be back for that? I'll be here. Okay. Ross, did you have anything at all you need to discuss with us? Nope, we're good today. Very good. There's nothing else to come before, before the Brown County Commission. I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Don't no, we have to wait until at least hold nine? <laughs> nope. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> yeah, if you want. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I did, I did let the commissioners know. Um, last week we were informed a uh, long time Brown County Welfare employee Mavis Kump passed away last week, so our thoughts and prayers go out to her family. She was she was a longtime Brown County employee and did a great job for Brown County Welfare and and helped run a very very efficient office for a lot of years. So our thoughts and prayers to her family. Anything else? Move to adjourn. Motion by Feldheim, second by Weiss to adjourn. All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed, nay. Motion carries. We are adjourned. <laughs>